Hey friends, Dr. Nixon here. Welcome to Rise and Shine. I'm hanging out with Dr. J right before I hit record. She goes, you look really red. Uh, it's because I just got done working out. Thanks, Dr. J. Appreciate it. Uh, no, today we're excited to walk you guys through a uh, morning time routine. We're uh, going to talk a lot about morning routine, energy, vitality, feeling good, how to wake up in the morning, feeling your best self, full of energy and vitality. Uh, to take on your day, whatever that looks like. For some of us, it's you know, it's it's work and helping patients, uh, being a dad, being there for our family and our kids, and whatever that day looks like for you, it is a good day to have a good day, and it feels better and easier to do when you have energy. So we'll talk through all that. We're gonna talk about our upcoming webinar happening in a couple of days, all about sleep. Ooh, I, we... I love sleep. Do you love sleep? I love sleep. I, I wish I got more of it. I love sleep. I um I'm married to an amazing woman who wishes that she didn't have to sleep. My wife, Marissa, will say often, if I didn't have to sleep, I would get so much done. And I love sleep. I'm like, no, I want more of it. So our next webinar, uh, Dr. J and Dr. T are going to talk about sleep protocols, circadian rhythms, and aura ring. Show them your aura ring. Aura ring. Aura ring. I have a whoop. These things track sleep. How many hours you're getting, not just quantity of sleep, but actually quality, how to get into a deep REM cycle. And so much of that, what we're talking about on Thursday, has a lot to do with what we're going to talk about right now, which is your morning time routine and setting yourself up for success. So let's jump into it. I have a question for you, Dr. J. Sure uh, have you always been a morning person? Is that like a thing that you've always done and been? Uh, I'll go with yes. I've always been, like even as a kid. Uh, people would pull all nighters, or I guess a college student. Church like, lock in. Yeah, I'm like, please <laughs> let me go to sleep at 10 p.m. Like oh gosh, I need great. sleep. Uh, that's how I've always been. Um, and I don't always wake up super early, but it is easier for me to wake up mm. somewhat early. Um, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's good. Cool. I love this first picture on here, and you know why? Coffee. Because it's coffee. Yes. All right, in the chat right now, if you love coffee, just write I love coffee. And if you don't love coffee, we'll pray for you. Uh, but if you love coffee, put, I love coffee. Here's my morning time routine. You do not have to do this. This is not scientifically researched to make you a morning person. These are things that I do have done personally that help me with my morning time routine. And so I'm going to walk through some of the basics of why I do it, why it's helpful and why you could, if you wanted to adopt it into your life. First thing in the morning, uh, this is across the board. I think a no brainer for so many people is you need to drink water. Say amen. Amen. Why? Cause you just slept for six, seven, eight hours, hopefully. And, uh, you didn't drink water majority of that time. And, uh, your body is slightly dehydrated. So you want to hydrate before coffee even. Okay. Before coffee, I'm chugging, drinking a lot of water. I'll actually do lukewarm water. It is easier on the digestive system. It doesn't have to work as hard to absorb it. And I'll throw in a little bit of, of lemon. I just take, um, most of the time I'll take real lemon, uh, Fresh, fresh squeeze into the water. Lemon has vitamin C in it. Vitamin C will help with your immune system. And then the acid from that will actually help the digestive system start to release some of its own enzymes. Really simple tip right there. Get lemon into your body first thing in the morning. If I wake up with a scratchy throat, uh, anyone who deals with pollen out there, me. Oh, okay, me, because I, I deal with pollen. Yes. <laughs> deal with. There's so much of it. So um, much. If you wake up with a scratchy throat, which has happened uh, recently this spring, one of the things I'll do also first thing in the morning is just sp uh, spray silver or I'll drink a little bit of, mm -hmm. of silver. Colloidal yeah. silver is antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. It can help uh, stave off a infection, throat infection, sore throat. Then I'm making my coffee. Uh, organic is good. Good. Uh, this is actually really interesting. Coffee is one of the most heavily sprayed uh, crops. So coffee is a fruit. It's a, um, a cherry. And um, so, but it's heavily sprayed to keep bugs from infesting the crops and killing the crops. I get it. But uh, when you ingest that stuff, you're ingesting the toxins. So it's really important to buy organic, find organic. We love maker coffee. Our friends roast this stuff in Asheboro. North Carolina. Uh, you can check them out. Just look up Maker Coffee. There's other organic brands. Uh, Bulletproof is one. 
Trader Joe's has a good organic brand. What's your favorite coffee? I love uh, Counterculture, which is Ooh, locally yeah. roasted in, I believe, Durham or yeah. Raleigh, North Carolina. Awesome. All good yeah. choices. Okay, here's a new one that I've been doing. Uh, it's A2 milk or A2 half and half, and you're asking what in the world is that? So I had to learn about it, research about it, and try to figure out what it was myself. There's two types of proteins that come from cow and their milk, A1, A2. A2 is the original cow. The original cow, the one that the that God made, the one that the Lord made, produce a protein called A2 protein. We have changed the cows, hybridized the cows, added hormones to their body, and now most of them conventionally make this A1 protein that is harder to digest. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyways, I started switching to A2 milk. Um, this was maybe in the last couple months, and I can physically notice a difference. I am one of those people who needs. I feel better when I do less dairy. Hmm. Unfortunately, I love cheese, but I do. I'm aware of my body. My body does better when I eat less dairy. I'm working on it. I've gone a whole month with no cheese. I, yeah. That I was remember. a miracle for me. I went a whole year with no pizza. Also, big miracle. <laughs> big miracle. Big deal. Uh, so I can do it. So anyways, I'm working on it. But anyways, A2, if you have digestive discomfort from consuming milk, I'm not saying lactose intolerant. If you're lactose intolerant, you don't have the enzyme to break apart milk, whether it's A1 or A2. Uh, but for other people who you feel discomfort when you eat or drink dairy, try A2 milk. You might be surprised how that works. Okay, then as I get going, I want to talk about physical. So morning time routine, I break this down for myself into physical, spiritual, and emotional uh, practices in my life. So the physical part of waking up in the morning is to get my body moving. Dr. J is amazing at this. Uh, in the morning time, she does a thousand burpees. In my morning time, I foam roll. I lay on the ground and I roll around on a foam roller. But part of that is, is just doing some stretching, some yoga. And in this process, I'll take maybe five minutes, sometimes 10 if I have more time. And I'll listen to uh, some sort of, of app some sort of whether it's yoga or meditation app uh, and I'll listen to whether it's um, you know the I'm getting into some sort of uh, devotional I've, I've jumped into a few of those soul time app has been really helpful for me uh, and just opens up the word talks about spiritual formation practices and as I'm doing that I'm foam rolling I usually start with my legs my glutes and then my lower back and then my upper back. And it's, there's so many benefits of it. Circulatory system, getting your, getting your body moving, increasing your heart rate, getting all those muscles loosened up and those joints loosened up because they haven't moved in a while. Uh, there's so much, so many benefits to mobilizing muscle tissue as well as pumping the lymphatic system. So your lymph nodes are designed to move waste out of your body. And so mobilizing that tissue is so helpful. So that's a lot and a little bit of time of my uh, physical aspect of the morning time routine for me. Now, the emotional and spiritual part, I have changed this up through the years, through the seasons. There's different seasons for different things. And uh, so I'm going to walk through some of the stuff that is uh, working for me and helping me uh, right now. Psalms, um, the book of Psalms, I'm really diving into. There's so many of them. Uh, but just a lot of the, uh, why did I jump into the book of Psalms? All the emotions. I am in the process of spiritual formation and understanding myself and my emotions. Mm, that's good. Mm. Sadness, pain, hurt, joy. I like that one. Uh, but understanding all the emotions and understanding that emotions are neither good nor bad. They just are, right? Uh, I've believed for a long time, um, you know, sadness, uh, hurt, shame, bad emotions don't feel those. And so I'm becoming more aware of myself. And I think being a dad has helped me with that so much. So in the book of Psalms, we go through the gamut of emotions. Um, you know, David goes through the gamut of emotions and processing with processing them with the Lord and staying in connection with it. So there you go. Look at Psalms has been really helpful for me in this season. Here's a podcast I've been listening to, and I'll I'll pop this on um, in the morning uh, or on my way to work. Um, it's Fight, Hustle, and Hurry podcast. It is about the hardest thing I've ever done, which is slowing down. Can you tell even from this webinar right here that I'm not good at slowing down and being very connected and intentional. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And so this podcast has helped me. And uh, with that, one of the things they talk about, some of the spiritual disciplines or practices, uh, they talk about Sabbath and what that actually looks like. They also talk about silence practice. Wow. 
feels so awkward, doesn't it? Feel. Right? <laughs> and so, <laughs> but um, honestly, like practicing silence has been really good for me. And um, anyways, I'm not going to jump into a ton of it. I, I've written it. We wrote a little bit of an email, sent that out of why it was helpful for me. But I love it. Anyways, that's what's working for me right now in, uh, in my morning time routine. So if any of those sound helpful or intriguing to you, do them. Uh, I've done other ones in the past where I used to walk. Uh, outside, uh, drinking my cup of coffee, and I would go through. Um, it, it was it was uh, a little bit of a routine of you know waking up with the sunrise, right? I would practice just thankfulness and gratitude and adoration uh, tor towards God. Just so grateful to have another day and to be alive. And then I would pick someone, a friend, a, a coworker, a patient, and I would just pray for them. That's one thing I, I did consistently. Uh, several years ago, I created a nature <laughs> nature trail. I always Marissa always makes funny when I say nature trail. I created a two minute uh, walk in my backyard through some weeds. I, when I usually tell the story, I say I walk through the woods. There were weeds in my backyard, <laughs> and um, but I would walk through that barefoot, so grounding myself. And just being very in tune with the birds, nature, um, creation. And that was a really good practice for me. Uh, again, just slowing, slowing down, taking some morning time to recreate perspective. Because here's the opposite. If you wake up in stress, the rest of your day will look like that, mm. right? When you wake up with anxiety and your heart pounding and my to-do list and I'm checking my text and I'm scrolling Instagram, ah, I'm consuming remember that? Yeah, all, oh, of, yeah. um, all of everyone's junk, right? And the news will wreck your brain and your heart and your mind. And uh, you're consuming everyone else's stress and anxiety and fear and worry. And I know you think it won't seep into you, but it will. And uh, so do the opposite. Start your day with gratitude, with thanksgiving, with peace, calmness, joy, a little bit of coffee and some A2 milk and some lemon water, and your life will be better for it. So there you have it, folks. I hope this was helpful uh, on, on some of my things uh, for the emotional, spiritual part. Now I'm getting ready. All right. So now we want energy, right? Like, give me, give me some energy. So wake up. This is my shower. <laughs> I know y'all are laughing, but this is my super shower that I do. That is super helpful. And I'll go through this quickly. Um, I get up. I get. I'm getting going. Drinking my coffee. I turn the shower on. The first thing I do is I dry brush. Do you know what a dry brush is? Uh, no. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, in the skin health world, you're about to see dry brushing and you're going to see how it's good for your lymphatic system and getting rid of dead skin cells. And it is, it's a $6 brush that you can buy off wherever Amazon and you rub towards you. I rub towards my heart while, the, while my shower is warming up, I'm multitasking towards my heart, gets my lymph nodes going. Uh, it helps with skin health, but it also helps pump your lymphatic system, which decreases swelling. I get in the shower. I brush my teeth in the shower. In the comments right now, please be honest. Do you brush your teeth in the shower? No, absolutely You not. should. That's so weird. You are wasting time, energy, and water if you do not. Uh, in the shower, I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. I start with my left hand. I'm right-handed dominant. I use my left hand, and I stand on my right foot. Do it. What yeah. am I doing? Neurological crossover. I'm helping my right brain and my left brain connect. I'm helping them communicate. Uh, there's some really cool research study done on how that helps to uh, increase neuro pathways uh, and connections in that. And so that's why I do it. I finish with my right hand because I don't want my teeth to be dirty. Yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> uh, but there you go. So the next thing, so again, back in the shower, old boss oil. If you've oh, yeah. never tried old boss oil, you need to. It's a combination of, of peppermint and eucalyptus and vasodilators. Say that word. Vasodilators. Opens up, dilates your circulatory system. Opens wow. up your sinuses, opens up your uh, drainage pathways, gets things moving, opens up your respiratory system, and now you're getting oxygen into your body. Dr. J will talk about oxygen a little bit. And then I do a cold shower blast, and then I take B vitamins. I do this in the bathroom. This is new and weird. One day, I somehow put my B vitamins next to my sink, or uh, Marissa's sink, my sink. Um, she puts stuff on my side all the time. So unfair. Uh, and so, so maybe that's how the B vitamins got there. And so one morning, I just opened it after I got out of the shower, and I got water 
from the spigot and I just did like that. And now I take my B vitamins right after I get out of the shower. B as in boy is good for your brain. Remember that B as in boy is good for your brain. It helps heal nerves. It helps brain energy. If you are not a morning person and you want to be one of the easy things that you can do is start adding B vitamins into your life in the morning time. Do not take it afternoon. Uh, you will be up all night. B vitamins in the morning. And then I do my smoothie. Here's what's in my smoothie. Uh, real simple here. Uh, blueberries, kale from our garden. We have a beautiful garden. My mom has helped, not helped, done. Um, she is the gardener in our family. And uh, I had some blue spirulina in there. I had some protein powder, greens powder. Uh, almond butter is, is really good for taste and healthy fats. And um, blend that up and I'll drink that throughout the morning. Here's the protein that I use. It's a pure path protein. It's a grass fed uh, bone broth protein. And there's a greens powder. And then I also add in a gut renew powder, which has some really good things to seal up leaky gut and decrease digestive issues like gas and bloating and et cetera. So that's my, my smoothie. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just get, it's a really easy way to get nutrients into your body is through smoothies. So take what you want, leave what you don't, but start applying those to your morning time routine. Uh, I think the, remember the word there is routine. The routine creates the reward. The reward is you as a morning person full of energy and life and vitality and feeling good. Uh, the routine is uh, one of the ways and the tool to get there. Great. Um, so we also really didn't coordinate. We've looked at our slides because a lot of my slides are very similar to what Dr. Nixon had, um, but not, not in the same order because my morning routine honestly looks different every single day. Um, and so I just wanted to guys, give you guys some practical tools that you could use just throughout, whether it's the evening time, like while you're going to bed or in the morning, um, just to help you wake up with more energy. Uh, so the first thing I put on there is breath work. Um, mm -hmm. I actually will sometimes, because I don't get to do my breath work during the day, we'll do it uh, at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. So one of the tips that I've learned is for myself, deep breathing. So for example, box breathing, just like mm. that, breathing in for like four seconds, you hold it for four, exhale for four seconds, hold that for four seconds. That's box breathing. Um, I've also done breathing techniques where you just inhale for seven seconds and then you also exhale for seven mm. seconds those longer ones like that are a little bit more calming for your nervous system so that's what i actually use at night to help myself fall asleep uh so if i am just my mind's going and racing thinking about a lot of things maybe I had caffeine late at night mm. um i try to do the breathing and that actually helps calm my nervous system down yeah. and i end up falling asleep breathing probably after like five minutes if yeah. i make it that long that's amazing i mean stimulating parasympathetic nervous system is what we're doing through the breathing. So, so much of us, including myself, will find a, my, ourselves in fight or flight mode, go, go, go. Yeah. And so it's so important and helpful to practice those breathing routines. Yeah. The opposite of that though, would actually be faster breathing mm. to help vitalize the body, right? And get more energy. So just a quicker inhale and a quicker exhale, but doing it in a circular pattern. Um, so you're, and then I will actually mm. help you bring more oxygen and more energy into your body. So into that's your nose, out through your mouth. Uh, you can do it either way, whichever way is easier for you. But yes, I prefer to do it in through my nose, out through my mouth. That is just more helpful for myself. Um, and that actually brings more energy into your body during the day if you're trying to wake up. Uh, second thing I put on there is drink more water. Yeah. Uh, like Dr. Nixon had mentioned, dehydration can actually affect your blood pressure, which affects uh, blood flow to your brain and can actually make you more fatigued or sleepy throughout the day. Yeah. Uh, so drinking half your body weight in ounces of water can be super important. Um, and if you never tracked how much water you drink, you'd be surprised at how much that actually is. Um, for myself, what I end up doing is I try to drink at least I would say anywhere from, from two to four cups of water every single morning mm. before I Whoa. leave the house. That's uh, better than me. That's great. I uh, should do that. You should try it. You also run to the bathroom a lot the <laughs> first hour that you get to work. Um, but even before I drink a cup of coffee, I will drink two, uh, two glasses of water mm. and then hopefully wow. two more before I leave for work. And then the last thing um, that I will also do sometimes in the morning if I get the chance to was any sort of movement or stretching. Again, just waking up the body, increasing the blood flow to the muscles, to the brain uh, will help wake you up more. So whether it's just a quick five minute stretch 
Um, or sometimes I do like these yoga flows mm. uh, or primal movement flows that just feel a little bit more comfortable for my body uh, and help wake me up. Uh, some of the next tips I have for you guys is making your bed. So this is what I consider oh, winning your day. Your bed. The first thing, yeah, this is probably the first thing I do when I get out of bed is actually uh, I end up like at least halfway making my bed. I'm not going to say it's like perfect. Per yeah, yeah. It's definitely not perfect. I just throw my sheets up. Um, but that act of making my bed helps me um, feel accomplished already, right? Because yeah. that's one thing that I've done already for that day. Um and I'm kind of get a little bit more into the flow. So cool. when I don't make my bed, I do feel a little bit more discombobulated and uh, not as organized for the day. Interesting. So interesting. Um, the other thing that you can do to win your day, I talked about this a few times and some other things, but is packing in or prepping sometimes the night before. Yes, so right. whether that's your lunch the night before, maybe even planning out your breakfast, you, you still have about packing a uh, smoothie. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I make my smoothie the yeah. night before. Yeah. Yep. Um, or lunch. Sometimes I even lay out my workout clothes or mm -hmm. my clothes for that day, um, the night before, just so I'm not again, frantic in the morning and running around. Uh, and then the other thing that sometimes I will do is starting the day with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Um, so whether it's journaling it, writing it down and like just saying it out loud or just thinking about it sometimes, uh, preferably I write it down. Um, but the reason I say gratitude with an action plan is it just something triggers in your mm. brain for you to be maybe a little bit more joyful that day if we start our day with gratitude. Um, mm. And it just puts you in a better mood to deal um, with people, coworkers, whoever it is. Oh, I'm right here. What were you, what were you grateful for today? <laughs> uh, today, I was actually grateful that I got up and I ran Ooh. and that the weather was below 60 degrees. Oh it gosh. felt gorgeous outside this so morning. Nice. Run. This morning. So nice. That's yeah. good stuff. Um, some other things that you can do to minimize your fatigue would be take supplements. So they've mm. shown that vitamin D deficiencies can also create more fatigue or sleepiness in our bodies. Um, so vitamin D, fish oil, um, even curcumin, those are some of my top supplements that I'll take on almost a daily basis. Uh, I also take magnesium, but magnesium kind of the opposite effect. It might make you sleepy. Mm. Um, but you can also add, I love what Dr. Nixon put with the Olbus oil, any sort of peppermint oil, um, eucalyptus, they're a little bit more stimulating to your body. So if you are having that afternoon fatigue, maybe run a diffuser with some peppermint in it. Uh, get up and move. Again, more oxygen and exercise to our muscles and our tissues will help break, wake us up. Uh, so I even suggest to, to people who are stuck behind the desk all day to just set an alarm maybe every 60 to 90 minutes to just get up yeah. and move at your desk for a minute. That's good. Whether it's bending over to touch your toes and stretching, or if it's actually just walking in place for a few minutes, um, that little bit of motion to your bodies can help wake us up. Uh, and then spending some time out in the sunshine, getting that natural vitamin D, also grounding. Grounding can actually help reduce the fatigue, not, yeah, fatigue in our bodies and the inflammation in our bodies. Uh, and then you're also getting some vitamin D. So I actually spend almost every lunch break right now sitting outside because mm. it's about seven degrees, 70 Gorgeous. degrees. Yeah. Gorgeous. So really good, really good way to get sun vitamin D, uh, and actually help bring up my energy levels. That's awesome. I love it. I, I, I like that routine. I, there's a definitely a few things in there that I don't do that I should do the water that much water in it's the morning time. I need to work more on that. So take some of these pieces. We want to walk yep. through what we're personally doing, what's worked for us. Uh, it doesn't mean it'll work necessarily perfect for you, but work, you can add some of those things, try them, see what you like, see what you don't like, put together your own morning time routine. And then on Thursday, we're going to talk about sleep. And, and listen, guys, sleep is, I think, one of the, mo the one of the biggest things to help change your health, whether you're dealing with chronic disease or low energy or digestive issues or chronic pain or whatever it is, getting enough sleep is how your body heals hands down. Uh, yeah. and it's free. What? We're going to teach goodness. you guys so many tips and tools to help you guys get deep, restful sleep. So love you guys. I'm Dr. Nixon and Dr. J with Twin City Health. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.